the whole process of manifesting stuff, um, I'm sure you hear a lot of things, positive thinking, and you have to think positive, you have to be grateful, and which are all true, you must. Uh, there is a flip side to that. And there is another way that you can actually manifest things that you want really, really, really quickly. And it's a really powerful method. I really won't recommend it, um, but let's take an example, right? People have been conditioned, when we're born, when we're children, we have this vivid imagination. Then we become conditioned to always expect the worst because our parents start policing us. So in order to keep you in line, they're going to tell you all the things that could go wrong. And depending on, I was about to say your parents might beat you, but I don't think I'm allowed to say that. But uh, um, if you do something that you're not supposed to, to do, you get, you get disciplined. So it's... Uh, which, of course, you need to discipline. You need discipline in place in any type of structure. But as a child, it just conditions you that there are bad outcomes for stuff that you do. And and some are worse. And, and you just get... You basically get conditioned to think negatively. And that carries over and that spills over a lot of times into how we live our life. It's much easier. And also because they call it the 1% for a reason. The 1% to possess all the wealth, right? And you're taught to think that money is like, whew, it's scarce and, and money doesn't grow in trees and all that, all that other stuff. So you're really, you're really taught that it's much easier. It, it's much more natural. You're much more deserving of negative things uh, happening to you. It's much more easier for us to conceptualize. But in the reality, in the vast totality of the universe, manifesting something bad it's the same exact process as manifesting something good. Manifest, manifesting something large, something vast, is same exact process. It's just a matter of what do you believe in because we, we've been, a lot of times we've been conditioned to think small. But it's the same process. And again, that's why if you start setting bigger goals and start thinking bigger, then your baseline of low becomes higher. This goes into my point. Now, if you're really desperate and hungry, I wrote this article and I would recommend that you read it. It's called The uh, Single Most Important Ritual I Do Every Morning. And it shows exactly the, the formula of how to manifest. And if it doesn't work, I'll bet you right now that it will work. And if, if, if it doesn't work, then you was cheating because it works. So, But anyways, here's a remix of that and a way to really just tap into the way that you do stuff now. But at some point, you might have to fix so you can be grateful and stuff like that. But let me stop. let me stop being cryptic. So this is the way you do it. So you ever tried this thing where you like, you expect bad things to happen, you expect the bill to come and expense to come, this and that, and it happens. And then sometimes you get into this flow where you just feel as though good things will happen and they just tend to happen, right? Like, and then this is a phrase like, I'm on fire. Or to, to give a really simple example, if if you're a young man and, and let's say in high school or college and sometimes you have you have stretches where the girls all like you. Then you have other stretches where you can't seem to get any attention. One stretch you said, call it being on fire. And it all becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. It triggers a vibration that then feeds itself and it becomes a sustainable cycle. And then now you get more of what you want. It's like a snowball effect, right? Almost like compound interest. Anyway, here it goes. Here it goes. I don't want to talk too long. If you want to manifest a car, right? Did you want to drive? The best way to do it is to think about the car being yours, driving the car, feeling good about being in the car that triggers positive vibration that allows you to attract it to you. Negative vibrations are strong also. So one way that I could say it is a quick hack to do it is now picture you driving the car, but picture you not being able to find parking, always getting a ticket, somebody ramming into your car, things of that nature. You're going to have your car, but you're going to have the headaches that come with it. But again, because it's much more consistent with what you've been taught and your, active, and your current vibration at this point in time, or for a lot of people, it is real easy to create that harmony that allows you to attract the car and all the headaches that come with it, you know? And this goes with having a business or any type of thing. If you just start thinking about the flip, this flip sides to anything. It's just a matter of how we perceive them or what our perspective is. If you think about having a business that's doing a million dollars a year, start thinking about barely being able to make a profit. 
you go have your million dollars or think about having treacherous employees. If you're, some, if you're someone that feels like your friends all betray you all the time, start applying, which is some bullshit. You need to stop that. But at least elevate yourself. Start thinking about how your employees all betray you and then fix yourself later. Now, I won't recommend you doing this, but it's a form of visualization that triggers your vibration in a very powerful way that allows it to become real.